Good morning, everybody. It's Teresa again from Baby Steps Reborn Treasures. Just popping in, guys, with an early morning video so you can see my family here. See how well she's settling in, guys. I put her over here on the shelf this morning um, just to get her, I don't know, just to, I put two, I pushed them together here. I pushed the shelves together to try to um, um, give her a little leg room, but I'm, I'm still not happy with that. I got to go out, guys, and um, try to find her a little bed. I'm going to get her a, either a crib or a bassinet, something really small because my room is really small. But I just want her to have her own space, guys. I, um, so I got to go out and try to find something. I looked yesterday, but I didn't really see what I was looking for. <clears throat> and also, I had bought her a couple of outfits, guys. And... Nothing I bought look right on her. I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn as to how I want to dress her, if I even want to dress her. I won't be dressing her a lot, I can tell you that. Um, she's one of those babies that I just want to um, cuddle and hold and rock and just let her nestle under me. I just, I don't know. She's so babyish to me. And I, um, I really don't want to put her in a lot of stuff, you know, fancy stuff and all that. That's, that's really not me. Um, I just really want to, you might just see her in t-shirt and diaper with her blanket or, um, I don't know. I know that I love vintage dresses, vintage clothing. Um, I can see her in the little vintage baby doll dresses, um, I wish I could find the little cute, little vintage, little, you know, the little shirts that they used to have back in the day have like maybe one snap up at the top, have like little, and then it's open, you know, it's just a little shirt that comes to the waist, you know, just a little, like, like a little pajama shirt or something has one snap at the top and the baby has the pamper on and. You know, I just, I don't know. I just want her to be like that. She just seems like mama's little, little baby. You know, like I just want to keep her, I don't know. She remind me so much of my own babies. My God, isn't this crazy, guys? I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because I'm getting older and I'm just, I don't know. I have empty nest syndrome or something because this little girl, she, she hit a spark inside me, you know, and I don't know, guys. I don't know what it is. I can't stay out the nursery. I'm having a real hard time trying to stay out of this nursery and leave this girl alone. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, guys. Yeah, but um, anyway, I guess, you know, I'm just going through the new mommy thing. I'm sure you've all probably felt like that, too, when you got your first silicone. And, you know, for those of you that do have silicones or when you first got your... Um, even your first reborn or, you know, a reborn that you wanted for a long time and finally got her, your dream baby, you know, Finley is my dream baby. Um, I had a cu I have a couple of dream babies. Finley is one, is the first one. And then, um, the Gabigail, the Silicon Gabigail is my other one. You know, those are my two dream babies. And, I got this one, and oh my God, y'all, I'm so flabbergasted over this little girl. I just, I don't know. She's way beyond any expectation I had for her. She, she's, she topped it, you know, and I don't know. I just, you know, this is, like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen um, another baby up close or in person that I didn't create. I, except for my little silicone, um, Sunny that Serenity sent me. This is the first, she's the first baby that I've ever seen that someone else painted. You know, I haven't ever seen anybody else's work except my own. So I've never been to a dial show, you know, so I, I haven't ever had a chance to view, um, another artist's work or anything, another, person with a baby. I just, ne I've never seen another reborn outside of my own or those that I've created. And guys, <laughs> just to look at her artistry, Lorna Miller Sands, I just can't believe that she, at, that she sculpted this baby. I can't believe her features and just, you know, 
the realism in her face and just how she did her 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 fingers and her 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 nails and her fingers and you know her hands and everything i just you know and look at her face guys look at her lips just look at her lips and her nose just her eyes i you know the artistry is just amazing you know it's just it's really amazing guys and you know i don't know now i'm really wanting to go to a dial show because i just really need to see see some other babies and i think that's why that might be have a lot to do with why it affected me to this degree because i'm just so over i'm just so amazed at the beauty of this baby i'm just i can't believe it it's just Look how real this baby looks. I'm just, it just throws me, guys. And, and I don't know, just the feel of the silicone and, you know, the movement and, oh, my God, y'all. <laughs> I was not prepared. I, I promise you, I was not prepared for this feeling. I wasn't prepared for it. And I don't know, it almost brings me to tears. That's how I feel. And I don't even know where it's coming from, but... You know, that's how, I, that's, I'm just, mm, I can't even explain, y'all. But, you know, I'm just rambling on and on. <laughs> I know, but I get to talking about this, you know. I, I try to talk to my sister and my daughter, you know, and, and Billy. You know, I try to talk to them and just explain it to them because I just really don't understand. I I just don't get it, guys. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I guess I have to chalk it up that um, I'm getting older and I miss my babies. And it just, you know, the, my kids are grown and gone and grand grandson is grown. And, you know, just missing the babies and missing those times. And I don't know. And this little mama right here triggers something inside me that I didn't even know. It just, I mean... I knew the little the feeling was there, but to this degree is something is something different, you know. But um I'm not crazy or nothing, guys. I know she's a doll and I know she's handmade and all that. I do know that, so there's nothing loony about me. For those of you that are watching my videos and probably saying this girl is whacked out. No, I'm not. I'm very I'm very, very much aware of what I'm saying. Um, I do know she's not real, so don't don't get me confused here. Nothing wrong with the mind. <laughs> but guys, I, I do love her. I really, really do love her. Look at her. Girl, I'm talking about girl like I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> but I could just go on and on and on, guys. I really could just keep continue on talking about this baby forever, but um, I guess I'm going to stop. But I just wanted to come in this morning and bring um, bring her in on and let you see how well she's settling in. Um, this is not going to be her spot on this shelf. I just, you know, took her off that table over there and put her over here temporary until I can get her a bed, guys. But like I told you yesterday, you're going to see a lot of this girl. So when you see my videos pop up, you're not interested, just slide on by. Click the like button though for me. <laughs> slide on by. And then when you uh when you see her pictures and stuff on um on Facebook, just click the like button and slide on by. But y'all know I'm just a happy, happy, happy camper over here. I'm a happy silicone mom, guys. I really am. Uh, um, I love all my babies. I still love my reborns. Don't get me wrong. I'm still in love with them, and I'm always going to love them, and I'm always going to enjoy painting them for others and, you know, all of that. But this girl right here, she she took me to another place, and I wasn't prepared for it. That's all. So once I get get my grip on things, <laughs> I'll be back to normal, guys. But, um, I had to pretty much take this weekend for myself so that I can get my get my wits together here. Spend a little time bonding with her. And I will tell you guys that this little mama right here, believe me when I tell you, she won't ever go nowhere. She will be in my in my nursery forever. And I mean that. <laughs> she will never go nowhere. 
this is um yeah she's definitely a keeper so okay guys i'm gonna go and i'll chat with you later i'll be back leave me some comments guys give me some suggestions how do i deal with this with this i'm trying to get myself together here and um <laughs> I, I am i'm having a hard time i need to I don't know. I need some company or something, guys, because I need to get myself together. This girl got me, in, she got me in a tissy over here. So, uh, y'all leave me some comments. Tell me how you, how you dealt with, um, with your first reborn and how you dealt with your feelings and emotions, if you had them or whatever, you know, and if you did, how did you deal with it? And, um, I don't know how do you move on you know <laughs> how do i leave how do i take two steps out of this nursery and get on with my life y'all i'm i'm tripping I, i'm like okay one foot in front of the other back on up out of here and let this girl be <laughs> i'm having a hard time okay okay you did it to me this time i'm telling you you got me with this one here <laughs> you did not prepare me for this baby right here <laughs> So, okay, guys, I will let you all go get back to your coffee <laughs> or your sleep, if you even up, because it's probably, what, 6 o'clock here? Um, probably about 6 o'clock in the morning, guys. You know, I've been up since 4. <laughs> I've been up messing around since 4. I don't know. I don't know why it is that I can't sleep late. And once my eyes open up, that's it. Ain't no such thing as, uh, let me lay here and go back to sleep. When my eyes open up, I'm getting up. So I'm going to back up out of this nursery, guys, and I'm going to go on in here to my table and do some work, okay? So if all y'all start getting babies that look like Finley in the face, you'll know why. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, leave me some comments below, okay? Tell me what you think about my little mama here and what you think about me and my craziness. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Thank you, new subscribers. Guess, yeah, I got a couple yesterday. So thank you, new subscribers. I, oh, you know what? If I could grow my channel, I would be so happy. I've been sitting at three something for four years, guys. <laughs> so look, please share my videos with your friends and um hopefully maybe i could get me some new subscribers and try to grow my channel a little bit I, i'm really ready to um expand with this with my youtube and if i can i don't know i guess i need to come up with new content though huh <laughs> um one of my one of my subscribers told me i wasn't boring so i was that made me feel good but y'all know i don't have a lot to talk about so Anyway, um, maybe they'll just subscribe to me because they like me <laughs> and like my babies, huh? But okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Say bye, Finley. They will be back. Believe that. <laughs>